Hey folks, and welcome back to Patia. A very special friend of the channel is graduating today. We'll be sure to look at that a little bit later in the episode. I'm very proud of her. And as well as a special deal on a motorbike. If you're here buying a motorbike, watch this first. But before we get to any of that later on, we've got to go back and finish up our little trip to the beautiful island of Kokud. In the interior of the island has other lodging options, one of which I'm at now called the Jungle Resort. Now, on the way out here, I saw other options. There's a mangrove resort. They have rooms on the mangrove. This is a, yeah, pretty jungly out here. And these little jungle huts, that's kind of what they look like, mosquito netting. Uh, I already saw a snake right over here a minute ago. Not a big one, just a little guy. And he was scared, but it is, <laughs> It definitely feels like you're in the jungle out here because you are and the, but the rooms I don't know that there's a reduced premium for not being a little bit maybe but for, but for not being right on the coast uh, one of the coastal resorts 1500 a night for one of these little rooms or 1200 if you stay three nights to give you like a volume discount I guess which at 1200 a night is about half of what you would pay but the room also isn't comparable it's very small basic there is aircon. Uh, one of them had a bed on the floor even. It just, it, it, it's a step down in room and a step down in location. So yeah, you get a step down in price as well. But just another option. And if you don't need to be right by the, by the coast, by the sea, if you want to be out in the heartland of the interior of the island, there are places like this that are options. I'm sure there's many more, but nice pool, nice pool. And the people here are very nice. And it's a beautiful ground, and I bet you at nighttime, it really, the jungle probably really comes alive out here. Anyway, I'm gonna go back, saddle up, and on my little rented orange Honda Click, and, <laughs> and go back to the resort and get, get in the pool and enjoy the rest of the afternoon here. So along my travels here on Kokud around the island, I'll show you this. I ran into these guys, and there is there are just a plethora of coconut trees on this island more than you can count this guy's got a, a trained monkey now that i've seen this before where they train monkeys to climb the tree and pick the coconuts at least the, to make the coconuts fall i guess just drop them to the ground but uh this is a little bit different this guy's willing to sell his monkey he said seventy thousand baht now that's two thousand us dollars they're right about for the trained monkey there and i don't know i thought i thought about it for a minute and then i thought well at about a an average of maybe a dollar per coconut, I guess dollar fifty on retail, maybe sixty-five cents on wholesale. But just say an average of a dollar per coconut. At the rate he's picking them, it might only take about I don't know a month to get the return on that investment back. So maybe not too bad of a deal. Maybe maybe even a lot better than say a beer bar in Pattaya. But anyway, the, the day turned into night, and I came out here to the. I don't know, there was two signs here. One said Castaway, one said Skuga. But it was a nice lounge. It just looked like a, they had a nice view here and uh, drinks and, and they, they had food. Now you can order food here. I'm not sure they prepare it. I think they get it from the resort across the street maybe. But beautiful little place to sit out here and enjoy a cocktail. But the real reason that I came here, I'll show you what I got to eat though, by the way. Some shrimp cakes and some beef it was all very good. But the real reason I chose this place is right across the street at night at the Tolani Resort, there would be a fire show. So I figured, well, it's just not an island escape or getaway without a fire show.
there you go. All good things, of course, have an end. The guys put on a, a pretty decent fire show, not the best one I've ever seen, but that was it for this evening. And the next morning at 8 o'clock, it would be time to say goodbye to the Kokud Paradise Beach Resort, the Song Tao, the Bot Bus, right there on time, on schedule. I'll tell you what happened. You know, this is one of the rainier places in Thailand, all this area, Chantaburi, Trat, Koh Chang, but it waited. It waited until I got on the Bot Bus. On, on the way back to the ship to rain, I had beautiful weather for the whole two days, at least average or decent to very good. And I was very, very thankful for that. I feel like I was blessed with good weather and they were just waiting. The rain gods were just waiting to, for the deluge until I got on the, on the bot bus. But back on the ferry, back on the way to the mainland, it was definitely time to say goodbye to Koh Kud and return to Pattayao. <laughs> Okay, so you remember Michelle? Yeah. <laughs> well, she graduated today, graduated with, with honors. She's off to college next year in Bangkok. But for today, she's enjoying her graduation. So we're up here in Sriracha at a school, Assumption, the Assumption College. Assumption Siracha. Assumption Siracha. So interesting. I've never been to a graduation here in Thailand before. First for me as well. But I always encourage her to do well in school, and she did. So she got her flowers and all her stuff there, a little teddy bear. <laughs> she actually got two teddy bears. Anyway, we got something else to do today. I got some other things to show you. But uh, we wish her all the best in college. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> so real quick, before we look at the main event here today, I'm right down here by Central Festival. But this, this guy behind me is a CB500X. I believe this has been on the channel before because the gentleman who owns it has gone on rides with me. But personal situations dictate that he needs to leave the country and he's got to sell that. It's brand new. It's a 2023 with 1,300, I think, kilometers on it. It's nothing. It's just had the first service. But he's done everything in the world to it. Now, the CB500X, the Honda CB500X, is one of the most popular touring bikes here because it's an entry-level type touring bike. It's just enough cc's 500 cc's and they make every accessory available for it anything you want you can get for it and they hold their value so brand new brand new if you went and bought one of these guys today you're looking at about two and a quarter 225,000 baht which is a bargain but with all the accessories about 50,000 baht extra you're looking at 275,000 as this sits well he's selling it for 195,000 that's the asking price if you're Watching this, if you're a subscriber, he's inclined to discount that a little bit. Here's the other thing. You've got the regular white plate on here, because that takes about three months to get. He just got it, matter of fact. The red plate, you, you really aren't supposed to leave the province a lot of times with those. You have to see how it's, how it's registered. But I, you don't have any of that drama. You have the white plate ready to go. He's got the green book, the keys, the everything. Probably the ma manual, anything that comes with it, it's brand new. So it's always been a good option, especially one like this because it's the kind of bike you can buy, ride around two or three months toward Thailand, and then sell it for practically what you paid for it. Probably a lot less than renting the bike. But I'll show you around, show you some of the big options, but he's got a real nice exhaust on there. He's got the, the hand grips, the hand guards, uh, the, the, the whole protection, the cage for the frame and the underpants. I'll put a whole list on the screen of all the accessories, but long story short, it's about 50K worth. And he was meticulous going around shop to shop to get all this. That's already done for it. There's nothing on there that I probably wouldn't have put on. It's pretty, pretty standard stuff, but it, it's some of the stuff's needed, like the top box, very nice top box on there. But anyway, if you're interested in this, send me an email. I will forward it to the seller who's here. He's from America. Uh, he's I've been with him on rides, so he's, he's not dumped it or anything like that. Maybe almost. <laughs> uh, it's been up the big hill in Chambury. We went up there if you watched that video. But anyway, good deal for somebody if you're looking, instead of buying a brand new one, get one that's practically new with the white plate, with all the accessories, all ready for you at about a $1,000 discount. But there you go. If I was in the market for one of these, that one sure would look attractive. It's not that loud with the exhaust, I'll show you. Yeah, it's aftermarket, but I think it would pass the, the limit test. But right around the corner from Central Festival, actually right in front of it from where I just was with the motorbike, is the parade. It's June. That means it's it's Pride Month. It's Pride Parade. And it's always one of the better events here in Patio. Always so full of color. A, a lot of fun. Everybody enjoying themselves. So, of course, I had to go out and take a quick look at it. So, that's what we'll do.
there you go, right? The, the parade, always, always a lot of fun. Usually starts at Terminal 21, goes down to Central Festival, usually in late June. If you're in town, stop by and check it out. All wrapped up at the islands. Wonderful trip out there. Hope you liked the videos. It was good to get back in time to watch my friend's daughter graduate and also to be able to show you a good deal on a motorbike. But something else next time right here from Patia for this one. Gotta go ahead and leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.